Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, basically in this video, um, a couple weeks ago I told you guys I'd be doing all three of the video, um, options for my 150 subscriber special, and this is how to teach your rabbit tricks video. So the first trick that we're going to be learning is come, because come, um, to know all the other tricks you need to know come, and it's the base of all of the other tricks. Okay, so the first step is to get your rabbit's treats, and I'm just using these, and that's really all you need for come. After you have your treats, you're going to come up with a sound that you're going to make. I use just because it's easy, and it's easy for Graham to understand. Some people use the rabbit's name, but um, I just don't because I say his name a lot, and that may confuse him. So I kind of forgot to say this in the beginning, but basically, um, so use your treats when you actually start to say come, but just use your rabbit's pellets because you're going to be using them a lot and a lot of treats aren't good for them, just when we first start teaching them the sound. So get a handful of um, pellets and make sure your rabbit doesn't see them, and then bring them over to your rabbit. So Graham kind of already knew that I had them, but anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to make your sound, and then you're going to give a pellet to your rabbit. Okay, and then you're just going to keep doing that. Okay, I think I'm going to have to get a better camera angle here. But yeah, you're just going to make your sound again, and then give them a pellet, and then make your sound again. Don't do it like, because you're going to start ignoring that and just going to eat the pellets. So, do it kind of slowly, and this should take up to a couple of days for them to learn the sound. Okay, so then once your rabbit knows the sound, and... And you may be asking yourselves, well, how do I know my rabbit really knows a sound? So, if you make the sound and they kind of like, um, maybe they're like a couple of feet away from you and they are getting really curious and they come towards you, then that means that they know the sound. Or, um, if they're, or if, let's say you had pellets in your hands and they did know that you had them, they would act the exact same way at when you s said the sound. So basically what your rabbit is doing is, is kind of um, putting it in its head that when you make the sound, that means that there's food, so then they get super excited and they come towards you. Next up is the part where you actually um, use come. So make sure that your rabbit um, doesn't know you have food, and if they do know that you have food, then they'll come towards you before you say the command. That means that they know you have food, so just wait a little bit and try later when they don't know. So take a piece of, so take one of your treats. And I'm going to show you this in a second. And stand at the other side of a room and then make your sound. And when they come towards you, give them a treat. Okay, guys, so I have my treats and some of them spilled. I just need one. Okay. okay. And then give them their treat. And Graham just likes to run off with it. He usually just does that with his favorite treats. And yeah. So just keep doing this a lot, and then sometimes you won't. Ha you will only have to say it once, and then they they will follow you around the room. But always remember to give them a treat because if you don't give them a treat, then they're not really like cats or dogs. They won't just come. They kind of just need treats. So um, yeah, that is how you teach your rabbit to come. Okay, so this next trick is. Um, jumping over jumps and this is really just like come and you'll see that it's very easy to do once you know come and sorry if you hear chewing in the background that is Graham he stole um some treats and now he's chewing them right next to me so yeah Graham. okay he keeps stealing the treats from this so I'm gonna have to put this somewhere else okay so first just make a jump and I just made one out of things that I found in my house and you want to start small, so this is kind of like a medium jump for Graham, and then make your way up for it, because I didn't know how much Graham could do, how big the jump should be, and all of that stuff. Once you have your jump made, run over the jump while calling the sound, and then once they come over, give them a treat. So after you've done that a bunch of times, you can just call them, and you don't have to run over with them anymore, and they will just come on your own when you call the um, sound. And then... Once you've done this a bunch of times, you can make your jumps bigger and bigger, and these make super cool slow-mo shots. The third and final trick is going in a circle. So Graham is still working on this trick. He's not the best at it, and I think it is probably the hardest for rabbits to learn out of the three of these. So I'm just going to be teaching you how Graham is learning and how you basically do the trick. 
Okay, so for circle, you're going to need your um, good treats, not your pellets. Well, good treats for your rabbit that they like more. And wave your hand in a slow circle. Stick to one side because that will be easier. Slowly and slowly, make your circle faster and faster. And then you, can, you will only have to flick your finger. So I can kind of do it with Graham, but when I do it, he only goes halfway through the circle. And then he kind of gets confused. Um, so I do have to help him with the rest of the circle, but he's still working on it. Um, but yeah, that's basically just how you do circle. And to make a rabbit go in a circle, you can either make your sound, or you can wave the pellet in a circle. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know Graham did, um, when he was stealing the treats. And I hope your rabbits learn to do these tricks. It was super fun to do this, and also I am going to start uploading more frequently. I haven't been uploading for a while because I just went on vacation, and it was super fun. Um... But yeah, I do have some really good video ideas, so stay tuned for that. And if you made it to this part in the video, comment an avocado emoji. Bye, guys!